In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CaNO3 2. That's calcium nitrate. Calcium on the periodic table, calcium is a metal, and then N and O, those are nonmetals. They're actually grouped together in what we call a polyatomic ion, NO3. And we have two of these NO3 ions here. So when we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. With ionic compounds, the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetals. So let's write Ca, we'll put it here in the center, and then NO3 on either side. Calcium is in group 2 on the periodic table. That means it has two valence electrons. And it's going to lose one of those electrons, so one goes here and one goes here. That means the calcium has lost two valence electrons. Since electrons are negative, it's now 2 plus. The nitrates, they've each gained one, so they have a 1 minus charge. The positive and these negatives, they're attracted to each other, and that's what forms that ionic bond in calcium nitrate. Let's replace the NO3 minus, called the nitrate ion, with the Lewis structure. We should put brackets around each of the nitrate ions, and often you'll see brackets around the calcium ion. And that makes this the Lewis structure for calcium nitrate. What we've drawn is a formula unit of calcium nitrate. Normally, you'll find calcium nitrate as a crystal, and that's made up of a bunch of these formula units in a regular repeating pattern. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CaNO3 2 calcium nitrate, and thanks for watching.